new at six. Crews are using a special helicopter mounted with an air saw to trim trees around power lines. They're working in Sheboygan and Fond du Lac counties. It's quite a sight. Jesse Ritke shows us how it's done. March is the perfect time to do a little bit of tree trimming. You don't have to worry about the leaves or the foliage. But the American Transmission Company is going to new heights to trim the trees around their power lines. Why is there a helicopter in the sky with a big saw hanging from it? A question many in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties may ask, seeing this unique sight skimming the tree line. These are trees that don't have to be cut down. Uh, they just need a haircut, basically. So the helicopter does it in a very efficient and safe manner. ATC hired the helicopter company Aerial Solutions to trim branches within a 150-foot wide safety zone surrounding the 345,000 volt power lines. We're trying to eliminate any risks of trees is not only coming in contact with the lines on a still day like this, but on a windy day, a snowy day, that those trees, if they fall, won't come in contact with the power lines. Trying to stop power outages before they occur. It's really about public safety and about ensuring that the lights stay on for everyone in the communities. But why use a helicopter with a 90-foot boom supporting large spinning saws? It's so much quicker than having a person go up into the tree and uh, spend the time hanging from a rope. I'd rather have have a, a saw and just one person in a helicopter do it. Especially when it comes to the most heavily wooded areas along the 9,400 miles of transmission lines ATC maintains. We like to work on about a five year cycle. Um, by doing uh, the helicopter air saw in this area, that can extend that cycle a bit, so it's very cost effective. 10 25 inch blades to do the same job in a tenth of the time. In Plymouth, Jesse Ritka, today's TMJ4. Wow.